everybody, this is Sean Powell. I really wanted to try something different. I want to have a lot of fun. I'm going to talk about something that's very really important today. Uh, this is going to be part of a how to uh, power lead system series of videos I'll be making. Um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know if it looks like I'm green in the background. If you look outside, my window here is really green. Um, it's nothing wrong with the color or anything. I, let me tell you what kind of day I've had, y'all. Um, it's actually turning green from outside. The sky itself is green. Um, I actually left earlier to go to the grocery store and it looked like some kind of zombie apocalypse. Um, this is some footage right here that I caught. What, all I was doing was just going to the grocery store. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that. So as soon as I came back home, uh, obviously safely after taking out a couple of these uh, zombies is what they appeared to be, um, I actually started thinking about the importance of power lead systems and the future we got. So I thought I'd put this little video together. And this is part of that series, okay? So I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Uh, this is actually going to be titled, uh, let's see, Do You Understand the Game? Okay, so let me get inside of my Facebook here. And this is going, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but it's real important. I think it's going to be real important for y'all. So do take the time to listen to this, okay? And hopefully nobody comes beating down the door. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Let's go to here. Uh, do You Understand the Game? This is actually a post that I made earlier today, uh, two hours ago on side of Facebook, and uh, I'm going to cover a lot of things in it. To me, I think it's a lot about the right kind of mindset, but it's also, uh, I think, staying focused on the right path. That's something a lot of people don't really get. I think they're just wandering around. They're hoping they could do well in the business. They've joined something, but they don't know how to put everything together, okay? One of my strong points, if I've ever had any strong points, is figuring something out. And on top of that, y'all, it's it's if I'm passionate about something, it's a done deal. I'm just, that's just how I've always been about anything I was real passionate about. So I thought that I would show you what I've learned. And I know it's to be true because everybody that I noticed made it, even though they got their own version as to you know how they look at it, it's still the same path for the most part. Okay? And uh, I'm not going to be showing all sorts of income proof and stuff like that. I've got too many videos where I've done that in recently. Uh, you know, to me, I just want to go down to the basics for a series for people who are trying to do well. Uh, I see too many people inside of Power Lead Systems who sign up and they've got this thick fog around them. They just don't know what to do. Um, some of them sit there, even though they don't know what they're doing, they'll go month in, month, and after a while they get tired of paying for something they don't understand it. My opinion, the sales funnel I just created, and as a matter of fact, I'll show you what it looks like here. Let's see if I can't get a, yeah, okay. This sales funnel right here I just created, y'all. The whole point of this is for Power Lead Systems people, I want them to get into it, want to use my share code, work for them. You know, everything's going to work for them in the process, and then venture out to making their own content and some of the series right here is just going to be based upon that little tricks that you can do that keep you from feeling like you're in the fog or you're in the dark is what i'm actually making and i have made a list of already different videos that i'm going to be making here that is going to be based upon that very thing uh things i think that's just going to you know shed light on power lead systems because i can tell you when i first got in power lead systems y'all I didn't get it. I mean, I, I understood what it was for, but I just wanted to make money. It was my first time in online business. I didn't understand branding myself at that moment when I first got in Power Lead Systems that this was the answer for that. I didn't get that, to be honest. So, I, that's, that's again, that's something I think a lot of people are going to be looking at that's coming in online business. Um, unless you've really succeeded in one online business somewhere along the way, I think there may be a fog around you in this business, so I'm, I'll be clearing that up. Okay, y'all, so let me get back to what I was talking about here for uh, Power Lead Systems. But I will say one last thing, y'all. The purpose of this video in this, you know, in, in my uh, Power Lead Systems share code is the fact that I just really want this to be something that brand new people can get into, people who are not intimidated by, can run with this and feel good about it and get the big picture for Power Lead Systems. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's just go ahead and get started here. Do you understand the game? Okay. 
Uh, let me show you exactly what this is about right here. Okay. I got on Facebook one time uh, yesterday evening. I got 36 leads since then. 37 when I actually took this picture here. And uh, let me show you this right here. Here's the picture. Now, there is nothing special about this picture. Okay. All it is is me literally getting, you know, I got 37. And let's see how many leads I got now. I got 39, so I've got two more leads since then. And uh, I haven't even, you know, I haven't done anything except be playing with this video, you know, since, uh, since I've done this uh, basic thing right here and I ate. Um, but I haven't done anything else since yesterday. And I spent so much time working on my landing page sales pages. And I've really just about taken a vacation, to be honest, uh, for the last couple of weeks, if not even a month where I'm still on Facebook a little bit, and I, I try to assess people and help them out. But for the most part, I haven't been getting out to nobody because in Powerly Systems, I really wanted to make the answer, and that's what my share code is for. You get what I'm saying? So it took me focusing at that, and while I'm doing that, I don't get out to people. So when I say that I got you know 37 leads, 36, 38, 39, whatever I'm at right now, for my efforts of yesterday, that's pretty much a fact. You understand what I'm saying? So <clears throat> the whole point is, get back over here. So the whole point is, I got out yesterday one time. I've only got 13 groups that I'm posting to. It's not this account. It's another Facebook account. I like to keep them separate. It works better for me that way. Um, and plus, how Facebook, every once in a great while, you could get thrown in Facebook jail. I, that would damage my business. So I want people to have access to me here. And in this Facebook account that most people see me on, that is where I you know, send my people to connect with me. And I don't get out the Facebook and the work at home, work from home opportunities, things of that nature. So it's a little bit of a security for that. Secondly, on top of that, y'all, if you just want to know why I have another Facebook account, it's because when you start to figure things out, you people automatically assume that you know the answers to everything in the Facebook world. Well, I do. I understand how to look at it, but just because Sean posted something does not mean that it works. And if I've got two, 3,000 followers or however many people I've got on my Facebook account for this one, what they're going to do is they're going to see me post it and just assume it works. That works, and they're going to try to take cues off of that. And a lot of this stuff doesn't work. Um, it's about, Facebook is about throwing it out there, trying to learn from it, and finding maybe four, you know, a bag, a small bag of arsenal of things that work for you. And, and and you learn that by throwing it out there. And it might take a week, two weeks. It took two weeks for me to really get a first, you know, ad that really worked. And it took me getting pissed off with it, to be honest, before I really had the ability to really throw it out there and, and you know, I had to let go. Um, I started writing content that just meant more. It meant something. People could sense it. I told people what I thought about my business, what it would mean to me, you know, to be free, things of that nature. And it hit home a lot of people. Um, and I'm going to be covering some of this stuff right here in just a second. So let me show you it started. I don't want to get too sidetracked. I just, my mind's a little, you know, bogged with all the stuff taking place outside right now. Uh, okay. I got on Facebook one time yesterday evening. I got 36 leads since then, 37 when I took the picture. I've got two more since then. Uh, Facebook alone, one time through 13 groups and then managing it. Y'all, you have to find your way of doing things that work, and you have to be consistently persistent about it till you get there. I'm not bragging about the above. That is nothing. Imagine if I was there every day, talking about the Facebook group, doing this three times a day nonstop, where would it put me? And in those groups, now let's think about this, y'all. And in those groups, the ones that are there regularly, the ones who do what I'm doing in the Facebook world, they will know I'm a player in the Facebook world and I'm not going away. That was the one way I chose to get good at when I started online business. So even while we're out there, I call it the trenches, in my opinion. Um, I, I would look at it as saying, you know, this is our goal. We're trying to get out there to the people. I'm going to find other people around me. Most are not in my business, but we're kind of like brothers and, you know, brothers together. We're both have the exact same role, you know, getting out to people. 
and you get respect to each other, y'all, when you do this long enough. Uh, I have a couple of them that, you know, I, I really went to YouTube after I did Facebook for a long time. Um, but that was a long time where, and I still got some of my friends that pop up here. And, you know, I, I know that Facebook was the way they succeeded. And even though I'm not in their business, they're not in my business, there's a lot of respect, y'all. If someone's making it in their business, you can learn from them. You know what I'm saying? If this person's out there and we're fighting together, we're sitting in the trenches, you know, I'm watching him. I, I, you can learn so much about other people is what I'm trying to say. So if I was you, I would really um, stay, uh, say stay focused at one way of getting out of the people, don't matter which way it is. Um, and, and let that be your battle grill. You know what I'm saying? Let that be where you're going to get out there every day. You're going to get in the trenches. You're going to do the work. And it's going to produce a certain amount of respect. A lot of people are not going to put the work in that you're going to put. You're learning from everything you're doing. You're learning about throwing things out there. When you finally get over your hangups and you get to the point where you don't give a damn what anybody thinks, that's when things start changing. That's when, you know, you really go to the next level. And I said this the other day, a matter of fact, you know, I always felt like it would be fair if if we did half the work, then we got paid to half what we're, you know, we should. It doesn't work like that, y'all. Uh, in my opinion, putting in 90% uh, of the work gets you 10 or 15% of the pay. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just not fair. And the reason why is because you're at the crowd level with everybody else. You're not standing about, you know, standing out. You're not standing head and shoulders above everybody. You're right there with a the group. You're with everybody else. When you put in 110%, what does that mean? Getting out there every day. And I, I'm going to say Facebook right now. But it doesn't matter what I, I, I'm picking. That, that's just an avenue. Every avenue that I'm telling you about, somebody's made it. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is, is if I pick Facebook, and I know I'm going to get there, there every day. There are so many benefits just from me being consistently, persistent every day at getting out there. Not only am I teaching myself how to get leads a whole lot better, I'm finding a game that really works for me, but it's going to be from respect from the people around you. And, and any, I will say that Facebook for free is the easiest way to build up your friends list to a ridiculous number, okay? So people who want to know how to build up your social, you know, uh, uh, social presence, that'll do it. Uh, it really will. Any person who comments, puts a like uh, on any of my uh, stuff, I automatically friend them. Um, and I've got teaching on Facebook that has more than that. But, but y'all, you got to realize, how many people in a day's time if I was getting out on Facebook two or three times a day and I was really managing every time someone put a like and I friended them and I even made a comment on the post because it brought my post back up to the top. In a month's time, how many new friends am I going to have that are every time I post in that Facebook group, that Facebook group, they're going to see me in there constantly in the feed showing, showing posted here, 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 here. And, and see what I'm saying? Now let's say that I do this for a month straight. Now, you know, I just friended you. You see that I'm up there. I am a freaking beast in this in the Facebook world. Why? It's not because I've, I've known how to do everything right. It's just I'm consistent and persistently getting out, you know, con consistently getting out to the people. You're going to have people respect that and you're going to actually build a following. Now, if you take that and if you add momentum to it, then you're going to have something. Now, I'll, I've I'm not trying to show proof of income or anything, but I do want to show you um, what I'm referring to as here. Okay, this is the post that I was using yesterday to get my 30, you know, 38 leads or however many I've gotten so far. Now, I didn't start off at this level. You understand that, right? Um, that doesn't really matter. Some of y'all, you've only got one lead, uh, let's see, uh, one gold member in Power Lead Systems. Or maybe a diamond, uh, you know, and two and three gold members that's right here with it. Then take a screenshot, y'all. Take the screenshot and put it right here. One of the most valuable things I have found is when I do screenshots and it has the dates on it, right? Okay, now this is real important, y'all. You're going to have to grasp this. Momentum 
produces more momentum when you bust your ass and you don't quit. Okay? So if I keep throwing it out there, I'm trying to try and tell you how to think now. Understand this. If I keep throwing it out there, y'all, and in the process, um, you get one or two members, and it took you two weeks to get a one member in or two members in, but you kept getting out there, right? So much more is going on than you realize. So many people around you are watching you. They just haven't got in yet, right? Now, let's say you take that picture now. You got one, you know, one diamond and those three gold members like I was talking about. And you use that. You keep getting out on into the same Facebook groups. Next thing you know, next week, you'll have three diamonds. And then you have six gold members. And you use that to produce more momentum. Um, you know, I've, I, can, I can even extend it further than that. I've seen times where I was in a business where my first week I made uh, $20,000. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous. I know that. $20,000 in seven days. A lot of y'all... If you made that kind of money, you would let off. You would say, you know, all right, this is awesome. I've got this, and that's it. Well, because I didn't, during this time frame, y'all, I literally slept eight hours in four days because I was busting my ass getting out there to people to produce more momentum. And when they came in, I used that time right here. Something so many people don't do is have the time and the date, I mean, the date and time listed right here. I think it's, it's valuable. Um, so many people cut this part out here, do a search because they've been in the business for a year and then they have right here. That's fine. But I really think that if I'm building momentum, as soon as I got that momentum started, I start putting the dates up there. And then I just keep hammering away at getting out to the people. And what's going to happen is it's going to produce more momentum. Now, once you get to that second point, like I was talking about those three diamonds and the six gold members, you do the same thing. You know, you go back and say, let me show you what the last week has been like for me with new members. And this is week, this is weekly residual income. You know, you got to have bullet points, y'all. The bullet points are going to be, what are the things that make your business great? Why, why did you join that business? You understand what I'm saying? Don't assume that people are going to figure it out and get that. When you tell them you are being a beacon for your business as well, you are going straight, cutting through the chase, and telling them what the big picture is. And that's what people want. And not only that, it's coming from you, their sponsor. That's things that so many people don't get. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, so what I was saying was earlier, when I made it twenty thousand dollars in seven days, I didn't let off. I kept going. I kept going. Um, I actually remember that I worked so hard that I made screw ups. I remember looking at the letters while I was out on on the computer, and the numbers and letters were wiggling from where I had that lack of sleep, where I was busting my ass in my business. You're going to have to bust your ass. Somewhere along the way, um, there's just there's just no other way about it. Now here's the good part, y'all. Let's say that each part of this right here is a different business I've been in, right? If I busted my ass in this business here, do you realize that when I go into this business here, I actually make it easier? Now I'm not saying that you can't you ain't gonna have to put the work in. You are, but you're gonna have a following. You're gonna have people that says. You know, not only the following was the ones that's in your business, you have a following of people who weren't in your business that were watching you. So when you get into this business here, and you you know you're already going to have, bam, twenty people jumping this one, just because it's you. The the number one goal I would tell people is to make sure, uh, or tip that you do a business you believe in, okay? Because it is so hard, if not for me, impossible. Um, for me to get out in social media every day, do YouTube videos, you know, be all over Facebook, um, telling people what I think about a business. Y'all, you can sense it when you're in a business you believe in. What you don't get is when you don't believe in the business, they can sense that too. Okay? So I'm not putting the efforts, I'm not making hundreds of videos for any business 
that I don't believe in. It just wouldn't make sense. I'm to the point that if I'm not in a video making mood, I'm not going to make it. Okay. Um, yes, it, the good part is most of the time I am. So when I'm in a business and I've, and, and the last couple of weeks, you're going to have to give me credit now because I've worked my ass off on share codes and making, you know, on sales phone. But um, most of the time, um, I'm getting out there and making videos on a right regular basis. But at the same time, you know, I'm not going, if, I might go three or four days where I'm just not in the mood. Um, I'm not in the mood for the videos. You can get burnt out by working your ass off and focusing that one direction. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the good part is, now I'm talking about for y'all at the beginning. If you're making 30, 40, 50 leads a day or whatever lead numbers that you're happy with, most say the sweet spot's between 30 and 50 leads a day. Um, if you're at that point and you know how to do that in one particular way, what you'll learn is, and that's a great thing, the problem is some of your downline are not going to want to do what you're doing. And if that's the case, and you already mastered, let's say like I did, I, I pretty much mastered how I want to do Facebook, right? My first six months, I was able to get free from the job. I was averaging 60 to 100 plus leads a day with Facebook alone because of me consistently getting out there, content getting better, and learning my own technique, what worked for me. And I've got the training as well. You look it up if you like. 60 to 100 plus leads a day, uh, Sean Powell, that'll work if you look it up on YouTube, or I might put it down in the link as well, description. Once you've got that, then you can focus on something else. And so I started focusing on YouTube. And the good part is because, you know, I, I'm not going to say you can never learn to really master YouTube at 100%, but you, you know how to get out there, you get comfortable with it, get comfortable getting seen in front of people, and this is really what people need to be doing in the first place. Getting comfortable getting out in front of people and getting seen. Um, once you do that, try different things. They are experimenting with it, um, and they don't quit. They're going to be the ones that win, y'all. Um, that's, that's really the honest truth. But when I got tired of doing YouTube video after YouTube video, because I did that. I made um, $40,000 in 30 days in, in that, one of those businesses. But, y'all, I can tell you my tongue was hanging out by the time I got done with those videos in that first month. Um, so, and I really, Facebook didn't do very well in that business. It was a high end, uh, higher dollar business and Facebook doesn't have a tendency to do very well in that. So power lead systems, the good part is, is it's low enough. Um, and it goes high enough that it kind of hits a sweet spot in the middle. And we're adding two more pay sources real soon or pay uh, commissions, uh, offers and two power lead systems that I think is going to be incredible. It's going to go up to the next level, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really looking forward to that. And just knowing that face, uh, I'm sorry, Power Lead Systems is so rock solid, pays weekly. Uh, the people in it are that own the business or run the business or in the Facebook groups. Okay. So I'm going to get back to this, y'all, because uh, I don't want to get too sidetracked over here. So let me get about where I was. Okay, so I just start start talking about how I busted my buttons, uh, you know, to to get my share code and everything together. All I'm going to do now is focus at getting the leads to it and see where it goes, and then steer with it from there. Okay, uh, see where it is lacking and ask myself why. I have always done this, always put the work in, and then watch results of it. See what I have to do to make momentum, and then use that momentum to make more momentum. That is what you do when you are in the driver's seat. You steer your business in the directions that, need to, that you need to go. Okay, so so basically, I busted my ass. <clears throat> I'm going to see what kind of results is happening. And then I'm going to learn where do I need to go to, to make it keep going, to get better. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I split it up into sections. This is for someone new starting up. Learn to get leads first. Stay at that till you get there. OK, so like I said, the sweet spots, 30 to 50 leads a day, um, you know, in my opinion, that's number one thing. You're going to have to focus at getting out, um, you know, learning how to get out to the people and it's working for you. OK, so I kind of label that as its own thing right by itself. OK, once you've got that and you've got your lead numbers up and to be honest, y'all, even I, I was having a lot of lead numbers coming in. I hadn't gone to section two just yet. 
but I didn't really care. I let the universal thing I had set in place basically do that at the time because I understood where I needed to focus. Anytime you look at and understand something and focus directly at it, you're going to get a better results than, than, than any other way. Uh, anytime you got your attention going in 10 different directions, you're going to have a hard time. Okay, now this is the second part. That focus at call to actions and getting them to sign up. Okay, so the first part is getting those leads. Once you learn how to do that, learn how to do that. Then you want to focus at getting them to sign up. Highest ratio possible, focus at that. Because I have made that my focuses over the years, I have made ridiculous ratios of opt-ins to sign-ups. Too many people don't do this. The answer to this is call to actions that are specifically this. Tell them to sign up. A lot of people don't do that. It's just common sense. Um, you know, you, you won't do the follow-up email, which is going to be very vital, is going to be explaining who you are, tell what you think about the business, not really big, you know, do as little words as possible, but tell them where to go. What, what do you want them to do? What is the call to action? At minimum, y'all, go ahead and sign up, okay? Go ahead and sign up, frame me on Facebook. I will personally welcome you into the Facebook group. You need to be around these people, really get a chance to see what this thing can do for you, what it means to these people. You will love this business. You know, to me, something like that goes a long ways, and it's going to steer them in the right direction. So, in my opinion, you need to focus at telling them to sign up. You being personable and tell them what you want them to do. That is what call to action is and stays at that till they do it. To not focus at this is like building a restaurant and focus at getting people into the door of the restaurant and then not focusing at them eating there or you getting paid. That's exactly what this is like, y'all. It's just like you building a business and, and at the beginning, I'm just going to get them in. That's those leads, right? But then I'm just letting everything else just fall, you know, however it falls. And then I'm not going to focus at getting paid and, you know, feeding the people. It doesn't make sense. Too many people do that. They leave that gap. So in my opinion, not even my opinion, it's just a fact. The ones who focus at this are going to have incredible ratios. Okay. Um, there's businesses I've been in that one out of every three people that I signed up um, went active. Uh, one out of every four leads I got, someone signed up. Now, do that at a crazy ratio of getting out the people like I was just describing earlier by getting out there every day, and then you've got something that's absolutely incredible. No matter where you're at in your ratio, y'all, it can always be better. Always be better. One of the benefits of using social media is you know, like talking about Facebook and YouTube in particular, because that's basically what I do and know, um, is the fact that people get a chance to connect with you. And people that do paid advertising, I'm not knocking paid advertising, they have got to get across that where you've already done that. You understand what I'm saying? Paid advertising, the number one problem I see for most people is is you're paying somebody to bring the the business the leads through. Let's say it's your house, right? So you got somebody else that's that's doing the work for you, or whatever. And once it's done, um, you're going to do emails and hope to reach out to these people. And that's basically what's happening, right? Social media, it's me at my own front door, of my handout, greeting and welcoming them into my house. There's no way in hell that paid advertising and trying to catch up to them later is going to get that same ratio as me standing at the front door of my house with my hand out. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the difference between the two. That really helps out a lot. Once they sign up, then the call to action is going active. Okay? Tell them to go diamond. Tell them to go platinum. You want them to upgrade in their business. So, the first part, again, I keep trying to you know, tell you what this is. First part is learning to get leads, master of one way of getting out the people, and just make that happen. Okay, you're going to have to put the work in, bust your ass somewhere along the way. Um, you're going to get a lot of respect from everybody. Um, you know, you're going to become a beacon for that business. However, whatever that way is getting out to the people, it does not really matter. It's the fact that you learn to master that one way. Okay, So, the first one is going to be learning to get leads. Second one, 
It's going to be give them that call to action to get them to sign up. Uh, follow-up email is the most valuable thing that I know. You, I get more emails from my follow-up email than I do in all my autoresponder emails put together. Not even close. It's 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 very one-sided. Okay. Now, after you get that and your call to action is telling people to go ahead and sign up, get them into the Facebook group where they can see you active and get around people that love the business. That's part two right here, y'all. That's, that's part two. You being a beacon in that business is what they're looking for. They want to know that their sponsor loves the business, that they're made a good decision, that this is a person I want to be behind, that the, the, the leader itself, the person, their sponsor, is going to be um, – not only a beacon for the business, it'll give them a practice what you preach kind of thing, and it lead by example. You know what I'm saying? And they get a chance to see all of this. Now, the third part is going to be using your momentum, like I showed you a picture earlier, and use that momentum to put in the Facebook groups. And you're not showing off, y'all. Okay, this is for the business group that you're in. Because it's going to inspire other people. It is going to be uh, universally influential for the whole group to everybody. It's not only just you either. It's going to be other people that's doing that as well. And that's what they need to see. They need to see this. They need to see somebody coming in there showing that they've gotten, uh, you know, 200 diamonds in two years. I got 170, 170 some diamonds in two years, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I know I mean I know it did, but it might have been over 170. But it was about 170, 180 diamonds in two years. And then somebody posts an image showing something like that. If if someone did that and I see that and I'm brand new in this business, it may influence me to take diamonds seriously because I know what kind of money's behind that. That's the kind of thing that's going to be there. So you want to start posting in that Facebook group and, and things like that is, and get them around people that's going to help them. And then you're going to push to call the action. Look, y'all, go ahead and go diamond. You need to go ahead and go platinum. I made $700 my first month in Power Lead Systems. Half of that came from diamonds. You understand what I'm saying? It's that valuable, especially at the beginning of Power Lead Systems where so many people is going past up to your upline Every other one for the first 10, you know what I'm saying? So every other one is yours. That is a time where you're not going to be making a whole lot of money. But if you got diamonds coming in and platinums, good Lord, y'all, you get two platinums in a month's time. Nothing else even matters. It's a win, you know what I'm saying, for someone who's brand new in a business. So in my opinion, that's that third part um, is, is putting the work in and letting them see that. Now, I'm going to read down from here and let you know what all this says right here. There's not a whole lot left to it. Um, I hope I didn't get too sidetracked. I apologize. Once they sign up, then the call to action is go and active. Tell them to go diamond. Tell them to go platinum. Tell them. You personally tell them. Video, emails, Facebook group, uh, the Facebook group you're in. All that's got to take place, and they need to have the same focus. And what's that focus? Look, y'all, go ahead and go diamond. Go ahead and go platinum. You know. At minimum, be gold and, and go ahead and get yourself situated so you can get paid because whatever you're not part of, you just wait and give money away. That's the honest truth. It's the reality of it. So tell people that so they'll understand. Okay? And be personal about it. And you hammer away at that until they do it. Why does that work for me? By telling people and explaining what Diamond is. Better than one out of every three people for the last two years that I signed up in the power of these systems that went gold went diamond. I honestly don't know anybody that's got a higher ratio anywhere in any business because it works, y'all. You hammer it away that and tell them what you want them to do until they do it. And you take them at that momentum that you've created by busting your ass and get it done and keep going. Show them the new diamond and three gold members you got, just like I was telling you earlier, and you keep getting out there. And next week you show them the three diamonds and six gold members you got and you motivate people, inspire people, and they are seeing what works for you, and they will want the same. Most not even understanding a lot of it's working, because you're showing it to them, is by them seeing it alone. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of your momentum is coming from you just doing exactly what I just described to you people in the Facebook group. It's going to help create some more momentum. And yes, you have to bust your ass to get there. 
you're going to have to bust your ass somewhere. But busting your ass is nothing more than staying focused at one way of getting out the people and teaching yourself how to get leads, then leveraging, um, getting those leads to sign ups by that second part. And then the third part is going to be you and your Facebook group showing people, uh, you know, help make a momentum in the process to help you even more along the way to get more people. The biggest tip I can give you that most are missing is focus at one way of getting out the people and master that one way and understand the game, what I just stated above. I hope this is it's going to be something that's going to help you know some people out. Um, that's my first video I've done in a while. It's going to be a whole bunch of series. This was a big topic to be talking about. I know that, and I hope a lot of y'all uh, kind of get what I was, you know, what I was saying. Um, I figured out that by myself, um, right from the beginning, and I know it's I know it's true. And you got to realize, y'all, and these social medias. What's what's the biggest benefit to social media? Is this isn't just some little creek or pond. This is like a freaking ocean full of fish. And you need to get out there and get seen. And you need to be a beacon because if not, you're gonna you you're just gonna blend in and you you're gonna you're not gonna get anywhere. Some of y'all ain't even out there in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I can tell you, you're gonna have to jump in, y'all. And the only thing that's holding you back for change is your hangups. Uh, whatever they are, y'all. If it's if you're scared of how you look on video, um, if you think you're too old, you're too bald, you're you're too whatever you think you are, wrong color, don't speak good enough, uh, uh, English or, or whatever you think your problem is. If you believe in the business and you open your mouth, people are going to sense that. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that it's going to be reality. Um, you know, if I was sitting here so big and fat. You know, here I am. I've, I've got a green shirt with green background, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if I was so big, I could barely sit here. But the first minute alone, I just let go and tell people what I think about my business and let you know what I found by applying action, what's worked for me, and just let go. Once you do that, y'all, and people get to see that, they drop what you look like in a minute flat. They don't care anymore. So that's something to remember. Belief is a, is a universal language. Okay, so I'm going to end this video, y'all. If you have not joined Power, Power Lead Systems and you've watched this whole video, that's incredible <laughs> uh, because it is, it's an it's a awesome business. It has everything to do with how I got free from a job um, in a short period of time. Once I really started understanding the value of Power Lead Systems, branding myself, putting myself in a business, you know, as a beacon for any business. Um, it, there is no other way. If you ever figure out how to do this just one time, you'll never go to anything else. Um, it, as far as, you know, how you get out the people and things of that nature are not as important to me as you focus in, and pick him one. So don't think just because I said Facebook and YouTube that I'm putting out or picking on the, the paid advertising one. Obviously not. Um, one avenue can make you just as much money as any others. It's the fact that you can't tinker with this and tinker with this and tinker with this. You've got to go all in to make it work. You've got to focus in that direction and make it work. And once you get that, everything starts falling into place. So if you need y'all, go ahead and click the link down below uh, and go through and check out my sales funnel itself. Um, I got the webinars actually built inside of here every Wednesday, every Thursday. And you can watch the, uh, you know, the older Hangouts until the new one comes in. Um, I think that's a really good thing to do, you know, so people have straight access. The funnel itself, um, I did a lot to explaining, showing them exactly, and it's a fun video, y'all. Got a lot of playful things inside of it. You know, I got little balls up here and things like bouncing around and going crazy. Um, I think it's, it, it presents itself in a very well fashion. It's 24 minutes long, um, and the reason why I made this 24 minutes is, is because I didn't want page after page after page of them having to jump through the hoops. They got what they needed all in one video. So I really wanted to keep it simple and clean. Um, I think simple simplicity and keeping it clean, getting to the point, showing them the big picture, the bullet points, like I said earlier, that's what really needed to be said and done in the first place. And again, what was my objective? To be the answer for Power Lead Systems, to give clarity to new people, and so that they can get inside of here let me show you my new, here's a new sales page. 
I'm sorry, setup page I created yesterday um, and got done editing and stuff like that. And, you know, and to be honest, that's all they really need. So someone brand new can come into here, watch this video, see me doing exactly it in the process, and actually take images of it. And once they're done, all they got to do is get that link and start getting out the people. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if that is initially the first step for Power Lead Systems, I think that can be a great step to give clarity, get rid of that fog that everybody has. And not only that, they're going to realize over a short period of time, especially some of these videos I'm going to be making real soon, they can do this and start making their own content just like, you know, like I've done myself. And really, that's when you, every time you make your own content and you're getting your own videos and you tell people what you think about, about a business you believe in, doesn't take perfection, y'all. does not take perfection. But every time you do, you want to inspire the other people around you because they're all at that same level I was talking about earlier, right? When you start, that's going to raise you up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. And the next thing you know, you're going to be a leader with a huge freaking team free from a job and inspiring anybody and everybody who's around you. And all you had to do is really apply action and just let go. Tell people what you think about a business you believe in. Once you take the person out of a business, it's the number one problem a lot of people have. It's going to struggle because people join people. All right, y'all. I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's a little long and jumped around a little bit, but I'm sure it'll get a lot better. I'm going to start hammering away at putting out a lot of YouTube videos for Power Lead Systems. So go ahead and sign up, y'all. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That would really help out a lot. And uh, frame me on Facebook. And I look forward to seeing you in Facebook groups. Appreciate it.